You ever heard a game dev story that Game Made in 2010 released on mobile devices? Thanks to its addicting nature and interesting take on the simulation genre, it easily became one of my favorite handheld games ever released on a phone. Game Dev Tycoon is basically a direct inspiration of that. In fact, most of the same mechanics are in the game, with the difference obviously not being available on the go. But frankly, that doesn't matter as the game is just as deep and different enough to warrant it being different in face value. As Greenheart Games' first title, it definitely has a lot of charm and thought put together in the entire package. Not bad at all for their first game. You start in your very 80s-like garage complete with DeLorean and IBM computer. From there, the game lays out a very helpful tutorial that leads the player on to a point where it doesn't feel like hand-holding. A lot of decisions are made and you'll mostly be sorting through the game's menus. Even so, the game's choices have a big impact. As the lead designer, you'll have to figure out what options to choose from, whether it's a sci-fi shooter game to something completely different. But hey, as long as your audience likes it, who's to complain? As time flows and as your company grows, newer variables are introduced too such as new consoles, genres, and new digs for you and your eventual employees to help you complete projects. The pacing of these events are perfect and takes you through sort of an abridged history of the gaming industry with such systems from the PC to the play system. Ooh. You easily know what these systems are and it's charming nod to how they come and gone through the years. Eventually, you'll gain a newer office, an R&D facility, which leads you to the endgame where you'll create your own consoles and shops parallel to the fairly real-world obvious ones. If you take your time, Game Dev Tycoon seems to have a lot to offer, considering the fact that the simple flash-looking art style and charming music and sound seems a bit drab. It's basically a quaint create-your-own-game-company simulation with most of its gameplay surrounded by sliders and buttons. That's a blunt explanation, and comparing it to Game Dev Story seems quite obvious which one is better. But considering the fact that we don't have simulation games like this on the PC, you can't really complain. Ten bucks seems like much, and waiting for it just seems like the better option. But if you can get by the price of entry, this game will give you some entertainment on making it big in the gaming world. Just if you don't have enough bucks to shell out, I would wait.